rising like the smoke you linger on me you got me so high i can finally breathe you wig clips thread needle and some scissors and then your hair of course i'm using the maven hair in indian deep wave i have two 18 inch bundles in the shade dark blonde number 27 this is what the hair looks like after I deep conditioned it and the longest clip in is going to be 9 inches long. I measured my head ear to ear and it was 9 inches so I'm doubling this clip in so it's going to be double wefted and I'm just sewing this section in the middle together so I'm just threading it through the weft twice and then I'm going to be sewing it together knotting it up twice just so that it's connected normally the longest clip-in on your head may have three or even four clips on the clip-in but I didn't want that many clips on my head because after a while it does tend to irritate me so I feel like the less clips the better and it kind of works the same when you just thread it through the center so I'm cutting that off and then I'm just going in with my first clip. I'm sewing through the hole and then I'm pulling through the weft, both wefts, and I'm knotting it and then pulling tight. And I'm actually going to knot it twice and then I'm going to cut the thread and do the same to the other side of the clip. I feel like it's very self-explanatory um, and if you don't understand what I'm saying, you can just watch it over. I'm going to show you again once more, but this is the longest clip in. So this is again ear to ear length on my head. You can measure your head because everyone's head is different of course. And out of the bundle, I got two of the nine inch clip-ins for one bundle. So for the two bundles, it's gonna be four in total. But I'm just showing you guys again, push through the hole in the clip, push through both of the wefts, leave some string um, left over on the other side and just tie a knot, you know cross string through the hole pull tight make sure it's really nice and tight the first one and then i did it once more and then cut the string and i'm just showing you again on the other side i do have two five inch clip-ins so these are also double wefted and i didn't show you guys me cutting those but it's just five inches this is going to be my half size clip-ins and then i have two inch clip-ins so these are the single ones they are single wefted they're not doubled up these go more towards the top of my head near my crown i need those to lay the flattest which is why they're single wefted and i'm just showing you guys me sewing those up quickly and in total i have two nine inch clip-ins which are my long clip-ins i have two five inch clip-ins which are my medium length clip-ins and those are all double wefted and then i have four single clip-ins these are all my short clip-ins and these are single wefted so they're not doubled and they're only two inches long so they only fit one clip on each and that was only for one bundle so that's per bundle yes this is me looking all cute and whatever i'm gonna leave all my makeup details down below well i know like what you guys are gonna ask for so that will be down below i'm just gonna grab this first section towards the nape of my neck and i'm not using like a comb to section it off um i'm just gonna section off and then twist it up i don't want this shortest layer of my hair to show when my hair is pulled forward with all the clip-ins in so i'm just clipping that up and i'm going to place one of my five inch clip-ins across that section so i did not cut the hair at all it's still all 18 inches all around on all the clip-ins i'm probably going to layer it once i clip them all in and i like you know position them perfectly i'll layer it so that it looks more blended and everything but as for right now all of the hair is still 18 inches long so i'm just clipping that five inch clip in right across that section that i pinned up with a bobby pin and i did go ahead and section off um three more sections of my hair and i wet them with some water and conditioner and then i'm using my Cantu argan oil leave-in on the clip-ins and on my natural hair as well so just wetting everything and putting some leave-in conditioner in it so they could be nice and healthy and curly and whatnot and then i'm clipping in um 
the clip-ins as you guys can see i'm going in with a long clip-in this is the nine inch clip-in and i'm just going to clip that in and then i comb all the hair together my hair and the clip-in hair because i just want it to be really blended i do want to try more hairstyles with the clip-in so i'm going to be having a styling video probably in a couple of weeks once i get more acquainted and comfortable with my clip-ins and i really learn how to like use them and manipulate them really well i want to try like twist outs with them and all different kinds of styles like half up half down you know cute stuff buns add clip-ins to my buns and ponytails and all that jazz so i will be doing more styling videos with my clip-ins this is just the first one of me like creating them and then you know showing you guys how i clip them in this is the second time or the third time that i'm wearing the clip-ins so yeah let me know down below if you like this video or if you found it helpful at all you know leave me a comment i love reading your comments i'm just going in towards the crown of my head and these are the last um the two last medium clip-ins that i'm using and then i'm just going to detangle my hair and you know comb it all through and then go in with some single clip-ins these are the one clip clip-ins just towards the very front of my hair so i can hide those shortest layers because I have really short layers towards the top of my hair as well and I just want to like disguise my hair in the clip-ins and just make them all one but I'm so living for this color I feel like it blends perfectly with my hair the color is just seamless the curls are really 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 close to what my natural hair looks like I did go in and add a couple more clips because I had about three more clips to add in after I filmed this tutorial because I felt like I didn't blend it enough on one side but I still am getting to learn these clip-ins just let me know down below if you like this look if you found this video helpful don't forget to check out any of my other tutorials on my channel I love you guys and thank you so much for watching bye